Hello and welcome to my 300th video here on YouTube. Recently, over the past few days, I've been working on a video uh, that involves the, let me see if I can find it, the Weymouth and Portland Marine Litter Project. They have a uh, walk, they're going to do a map uh, in the near future of this little art trail walk. So I've just got uh, three examples in this video. Um, you'll find a link to the Weymouth and Portland Marine Letter Project under this video. If you watch the video and click on the link. You'll also find a link to everything else I do, uh, this YouTube channel for example, and everything else I do under this video. So. If you like this stuff, subscribe, like, do a thumbs up, comment. Thanks. So now I take you to a street in Weymouth. Oh, yeah, uh, what I've done is I've tried to include Google Earth images of the actual locations of the artwork in the video. So you can see exactly where it is. I've also uh, tried to include some stills of the artwork as well. They will be in little boxes in the top corner, I think. OK, so now I take you to a street in Weymouth. Enjoy. Hello, it's Peter for Zip Media here down in Weymouth. I'm on Lower... What is it? Street? Lower... I'm by St Nick's, anyway. The uh, tattoo parlour down here. And I'm talking to a group of people who are working on a project that's much wider than just here. I'll flip the camera around and uh, one of the painters can explain. OK, well, we're a group of friends that got together to uh, take part in a project where various telephone boxes are being painted around the Weymouth area. And eventually there will be an arts trail for everyone to come and see them. Uh, we got together to do something that showed how we can make a positive impact on the local environment. Right. We wanted to show that small changes can have a big impact. So our box is going to display some of the types of rubbish and bad environmental things that we see in Weymouth and some of the good things. And uh, yeah, we're hoping that everyone will enjoy looking at it. So this, this is part of it? A much bigger project. It is, yes. Um, yeah? not, there's got to be at least a dozen boxes being painted all around the town. Right. Um, most of them are already finished. Yes. And the lady that's organised it all will be making a map, a trail that will be handed out to tourists and anyone else who's interested and they'll be able to follow that trail to look at right. everybody's Any boxes. idea when that map will be available? Uh, well, we're the last one of the summer uh, intake for this project, but she's doing another one in September. So I wouldn't think until late autumn. OK. And that will be available for tourists? It will, yeah. Tourist departments? Yeah, it's all done via uh, Dorset Town Council. OK. So just get your name again. Sue Baldry. Sue Baldry. Yeah. OK. None of us are professional artists. We'll uh, give it a go. It. Yeah, give it a go. <laughs> Thank See you. how we get on. Hi, I'm uh, Claire Shilton and uh, I'm responsible for um, contributing Let It Be to the environmental arts trail that uh, heads off to Weymouth. Um, I'm really happy to have been uh, selected to contribute as a environmentally concerned person, particularly with the uh, uh, continued uh, use of pesticides that are harmful towards the bees, which are our life givers, really, and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I'm very happy. I moved to Portland uh, just over a year ago, and um, I have full appreciation of the wildness of the area. Um, and yeah, so this was my contribution. So, how, how long did it take you to paint? I think I came here um, on four or five days between, and I painted for about four four hours, so maybe 12 to 16 hours it took me. At stages there was quite a bit of head scratching because I'm a, 
I'm a graphic designer actually. I went to art school in Portsmouth a long time ago in um, the eight, early 80s and trained to be a visual communicator and um, a photographer uh, and graphic designer. And uh, so there was a, a, a couple of hairy moments where I, uh, I didn't fully understand the layers of uh, painting, but um, yeah, I, well, I went through that pain threshold and I'm quite pleased with the result. So you see, this is going to be here for that yeah apparently uh hopefully they they permission has been sourced by the um Port, uh, weymouth and portland um uh litter group and uh they are ho expect hopefully they they will be definitely staying here for at least two years and then it will be revised and to see what the state they're in i I don't know, it's a new, sort of a new initiative really, but uh, I have to say I've uploaded it on my own Facebook page and, um, and while, whilst I was painting it, the passers-by and sometimes I was here with the schools um, uh, and, uh, you know, when they'd finished for the end of the day and uh, it generated a lot of excitement and I think people really do care right across the board now about our wildlife and, and that we should be a lot more respectful to it. Hi, I'm Paige and I'm 14. I did this painting a few weeks ago for an environmental art project. Um, a bunch of people have been doing them around, which is also in the video. Um, I found it on Facebook and I just sent a mess, an email and Got involved that way. Um, I just wanted it to be something that I look back to in the future when I get better. So, yeah. So, how long did it take you to paint? Um, I I did it all in one day. It took me about eleven hours, maybe. Right. Did you have many people asking you why? Uh, yeah, quite a lot of people did stop, like compliment it, and then ask why I was doing it, if I had permission, and stuff like that. Did you have permission? Yeah. <laughs> that was a very common question. Right, so you, you painted the turtle as a, something you were doing at school. Hmm? The, the, the image of the turtle. Um, it wasn't to do with school or anything, it was out of school. Right, okay. So how long do you think this image is going to be here as well as the other boxes? Have you been told? Um, they're whenever they get new boxes like installed, so probably a couple of years. Right. So there will be a map, won't there, published um, fairly soon. I'm about, pretty sure there's going to be a website, yeah. About the trail. Yeah. I will put a link to the website under this video. All right. <laughs>